No, just start there. And... Sophie. Sophie. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be looking at the potato salad. Oh, in the building, man. What's good? Is that potato salad? Music video, which was released by ASAP Rocky and Tyler the Creator. Um, now, a lot of the effects in this are quite simple to do, but I thought it'd be handy to walk through it with you guys um, and basically how I created what I've created. It's really simple. I want you guys to get really creative with it. I'm not going to show you step by step because I feel like the videos drag on too long and you guys don't really want that and neither do I. Um, so I'll show you the final outcome of each one and I'll tell you how to do each one. So I'm going to try to split this into like five or six sections. So yeah, let's get into the video. So I'm going to try break this down into a few sections. Firstly, you want to prepare your assets. It's the most important thing you can do. So as you can see here, I have a folder of all the things I want to use. Basically, you want to make sure everything's got transparency. So you don't have to worry about that in After Effects. And you can do that in Photoshop, I gather you know how to do that. You can use the magic wand, get rid of the backgrounds, or you can mask it with a pen tool. Also, another place which I've used today for some of the text is a website. And basically what it allowed me to do was create this really funky, jazzy kind of text that you see in the video. So I'll show you that now. So this is where I got the text from. Basically just choose whatever you want and then type in whatever and you can download it as a PNG. So the next part of the tutorial, I'm going to do one of the easiest parts of the video, which is basically the moving text that scrolls up the screen and the GIFs that go along with it. And then like obviously added text. Now this is really easy. Basically you want to build up your text. So create what you want to create, change the typefaces, change the colors, add in the cool text from like I showed you. And then what you want to do with your GIFs, they'll more than likely have a background, so you want to mask them by using the pen tool. So just go roughly around them, put a feather on it if you want by pushing F, and you can feather the edges a bit. And then once you've got that, you basically want to grab a layer and then grab all the layers that you want to follow the certain layer, and then use the Pickwick tool and parent it to one layer that way. When you do the animation, all you have to do is move one. So I keyframed the begit from the bottom position and then went straight up and they all move with it. And you don't have to do multiple keyframes. So the next bit of uh, animation we want to be looking at is this really cool scene where basically the controller moves off with the, with the person and kind of does a little flip. And then you get these buttons that come off and they like score up the screen like this. So yeah. This one's really simple to do as well. Basically, all you want to do is get your footage in, obviously make sure it's all um, uh, at the right size. And then all you have to do is position keyframe it from one spot where she, where the character is or wherever the person is. And then go to the end point where it goes off the screen and then keyframe again while I'm moving it. And then go back to the first keyframe and do rotation and then go to the last keyframe and do one full turn, which is here. And then once you've done that, we want to do the really cool part, which is the X's and O's and triangles and squares that come off the controller. So you want to in, in, import your, um, so you want to import your images, and then what you want to do is position it correctly where you want. And like you did with the first one, you want to create a keyframe from the first position, and then move it ahead a couple seconds and keyframe it off the screen. And then once you do that. You want to pre-compose the layer because this effect doesn't work work unless you pre-compose it. So if you go back into it, if you pre-compose it, right click, pre-compose, and then move all attributes into layer, then what you're going to do is go to your effects and pa panel and apply the effect echo. If you apply that to this layer, if we go into our effects panel now, and then you want to type in like whatever number you can get really creative with this. Like this is just a tutorial. I want you to go ahead and do what's blowing your mind basically. And then you just change the echo time a little bit to however much you want it spaced in. And then basically that's it. Like the amount of echoes is the amount of times that the X's come out. So the next one is the rainbow that you see in the background. Now this one is a little bit more challenging. You have to have 
a good shot that's not too too much motion in it otherwise after effects won't pick up the points so like with mine was a little bit too motion too much motion so it tracks fine at the beginning but then it starts to flick out a bit and it doesn't really work so unfortunately i can't show you it fully done but the first few frames worked so uh basically what you want to do is import your rainbow footage or whatever footage you want to track in the sky and then click the layer and then go up to window and then go to the tracker so click that and then motion source you want to click your air uh, your footage and then mine's already loaded but basically you want to tick position and then what you want to do is create a null so right click new null um, and you'll get your no layer and then what you want to do is edit the target and then choose your no layer and then basically you'll get your track point and you want to select on something that will track easily so I choose this I chose this little orange thing which was quite vibrant so it was quite easy to pick up or you could do the yellow part and then all you want to do is push analyze forward and then let it analyze and you may have to tweak it a bit like you could also create this box could be a you could make this bigger so the so the masking point isn't so it's a bit like so the masking point's a bit larger um, and then once you've done that all you have to do is click apply and it will apply it to your null and then once you've done that all you need to do is parent your image to the null and that is it that's everything done and you'll have your footage in there tracked so another cool one is the way the heads bounced off the text now that one's pretty straightforward all you have to do is get your head in get some text it kind of cut into it so just let it cut and then basically position keyframe it and go up and down you can kind of see the motion of mine here if you see the points i've just kind of gone up down up down so it's bouncing off the text and then that one's that one done so it's pretty simple now the last one i'm going to show you this one's quite cool and you can use it in a lot of things it's used all the time and you may even know how to do it but basically it's a simple transition from like someone going across the screen so you see the head here it kind of it's done really roughly just for tutorial set purposes but as it comes off it transitions in, into another scene now you can do this with people walking across the screen etc and it's really simple to do all you have to do is a lot of time putting into the masking so basically i it's quite straightforward go to the point where you want to start doing the effect and then you want to start drawing a mask around the object you want to do it a bit better than what i've done it to so draw your points and then go f go ahead each frame and just tediously move the points so that it looks like it's seamlessly transitioning so you just keep going going and going and going and going and going until it's completely done and off the screen and now to add it to make it look a little bit more you know not so rough edges you can just click f on the mask i'll bring up your feather and bump up the feather and there you've got it you've got a nice transition make sure the uh, image is below and there's a nice transition so yeah that's all the effects i'm gonna build and yo what's good yo is that potato salad yo listen to this i hope you guys enjoyed the video be sure to hit that like button and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos peace out Boosh.